Hello, this is Meredith, and I did not film an intro, so you're going to just hear this voiceover. So this is the last day in Lake George, so we were actually checking out, so I'm just going to show you what we did. So the first stop we actually made was at Rachel's Spice Company and Cafe in Glens Falls. Um, I found it online, and I kind of wanted to have a nice coffee and kind of check out the spice market. Um, so you'll kind of see what we had here. It was a really nice locally owned business and they had a lot of great spice blends. They also had a very large selection of loose teas, so if that's your thing, they also have you covered. We decided to go towards Saratoga Springs, and there was actually a horse race that afternoon. It started right after we got there, so there were quite a few people out and about kind of doing some sightseeing right before they went to the horse race. If you are a honey enthusiast, they actually let you sample all of these honey types and flavors from different places around the world. The next stop is Druthers Brewing Company. The reason why I wanted to go here is that I traveled to um, Albany in the past and I went to another location of Druthers and I've been thinking about these pretzels and beer cheese since I was there like a few years ago. So when I saw that the original location is actually in Saratoga Springs, I knew I had to go. So feel free to scan those QR codes if you wanna take a look at the menus. The beer cheese and the pretzels. I've been dreaming about these pretzels for years. My mom and I decided to share a flight just because it was midday. Um, so we each ordered three of our liking. Our original plan had been to just eat the pretzels there, but then we decided to just eat lunch so you can see what we ordered. The portions are huge. If you are able to digest cheese, the mac and cheese is really, really good, so highly recommend trying that. So I knew I needed to go to a grocery store because Saratoga Springs is actually the home of the kettle chip. My friend told me that when I told her that we were planning to go to upstate New York. So we stopped in the Putnam Market and then we also decided to go to the Racing Hall of Fame just because, I mean, we were in the area. to Albany because my mom wanted to see what the capital looked like. So here we are entering the city. Then we made our way back down towards the city and we actually decided to stay in Westchester for the night. So this is us making our way back.
per the usual, here is my skincare, and then the next clip will be back in my apartment. So I'm obviously back home. Um, my parents dropped me off and now they're on their way back to Minnesota. Um, so desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm gonna just make some espresso right now. The instant one from Cafe Pistello. And then I have to go out and get my mail. And then also I have to do a little bit of some errands to get groceries and things before the hurricane comes tomorrow. But I'll check in with you later when I fix up my makeup and stuff like that. New York. Um, so I just finished the weekend or the week trip with my parents as a road trip to upstate. Um, so for a few days we were staying in Lake George. Honestly it was a little bit different than what I expected and one of my friends is actually there right now and she also had different expectations. Um, to me, so I'm from the Midwest um, and to me it sounded or seemed very much like um, the Wisconsin Dells. I don't know if anyone understands that reference, but it's very like family tourist trappy. Um, but we used it as a nice location because we were planning on going um, exploring farther north and things like that, and also possibly west and east, etc. So it was a really great location for that, just because it's at the like a nice fork in the road. Um, so we spent a lot of time there looking around. Glens Falls is actually really cute, so I totally recommend that if you ever do go to Lake George to also check out Glens Falls. Um, it's just a little bit down the road, but they have a lot of good restaurants and things like that. And um, I especially enjoyed that um, we actually didn't eat at any chain restaurants. One night we almost ended up at a McDonald's, but that was just because a lot of things close very early if we're outside of um, the Lake George area. And Lake George is just very crowded and I didn't really want to. <laughs> We actually didn't want to wait around for like tourist food, um, so we kind of took a drive to some other areas. So you'll probably have seen those in the vlogs leading up till now. Um, so I'm actually kind of trying to rush, so I'm a little bit tired right now. Just because again, I like to do a lot of things on my vacations. Um, but also, I have to go to the post office to pick up some packages that arrived. I also have some work things that arrived, and I have to go pick them up at the UPS access point, so I'll take you along with me on that, maybe. Um, and then also, I need to do some grocery shopping, so actually there's a hurricane coming to New York probably tomorrow, I think that's what I heard, is that it's going to make landfall probably tomorrow morning. Um, so I'm trying to go and get groceries before everybody in New York is at Trader Joe's, basically, so we shall see if I succeed at that. Um, but I was going to take a nap, but I figured that it's probably better for me to just get my errands done before anything, and that looks terrible, so I hopefully I'll be able to fix it. Um, but yeah, so I'll take you along with me on my errands. Um, basically I just need produce, and I have a lot of frozen food, but I'm just hoping to find some salad greens, and then maybe some fresh broccoli and cauliflower. Um, I do have some asparagus from the last time I went to the grocery store, so I have that still left over. It looks fine. It's not gross or anything in my um, fridge. Um, so if the line is too long, I probably won't go to Trader Joe's, just because I don't think I'm going to be, like, dying if I don't have any, um, but it would be nice to have some fresh produce. But yeah, I'm kind of worried about the hurricane. So luckily my parents um, and I made it back and they're on their way back to Minnesota before the hurricane hits just because that would be a rough time driving um, for everyone involved. Um, but yeah, so, um, so probably honestly be the same as usual where I just walk you through the post office and then maybe to Trader Joe's, but that's only if the line is not super ginormous. Um, so otherwise I'll probably just stop in a grocery store, probably Fairway if I'm being honest, um, but yeah, that'll be the plan, so I'll check back in with you shortly. So I'm on my way out and I just wanted to show you, this is the book I'm listening to right now. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet, but this is what I'm listening to. I unpacked my suitcase, but I have so much stuff to unpack that I purchased, so I'll do those with you, I guess.
is everything that I purchased at Trader Joe's today, and I spent $46.31. Um, it took me a while to get home because I also packed up my packages, so I'm going to just throw these in the freezer right now because I'm a little bit worried because it is hot and humid out. Simple lunch of leftovers and apples. So this is the leftovers from yesterday. I'm going to have the beef one for lunch and probably the chicken one for dinner. But then I also have um, an apple that was in the fridge, so it needs to definitely be eaten quickly. So I'm working on my computer, just kind of uploading all of the clips and everything. And then I also just uploaded um, the Cosbox spoiler or ultra spoiler for number two. I think I was a little bit salty, but um, yeah. So I never showed you, but these were what was at my mailbox today. Honestly, this box is pretty big for BoxyCharm, so I'm kind of curious what's in it. My plan is to unbox it tomorrow, which kind of I'm thinking about it now, but the lighting is terrible in here. But um Tomorrow will be a hurricane, so I'm not sure how good it will be, um, but I am going to unbox it tomorrow regardless. It just might be very loud, so we'll see. And then I also got this random box from Tresemme, so I am interested to see what's in there. I think it's from Influencer, um, but I don't know. I don't think I got any notification about it, so I'm interested to see what's in there. It's very heavy. Dinner today is some leftovers from last night. So I ran my dishwasher because I forgot to do it before I left, but that means that I need to now put away all my dishes before I wash my dishes by hand and put them in the dishwasher for later. Um, I typically use my dishwasher as like a drying rack, but because of time, I was going to run this before vacation, but I forgot, so I have run it now. It is currently 8.05 p.m. So it's been kind of rainy and stormy since about 8 o'clock, like the meteorologists predicted. Um, so they started saying that it was around 8 p.m. it would start getting very stormy from Hurricane Henry. And this is definitely beginning to be stormy. So it is obviously a lot of time later. So the rain kind of stopped for about an hour, but now this is, I think, just going to be how it is plus probably some wind later. Um, so today is, what is today? Saturday, the 21st. Um, so apparently the hurricane will hit tomorrow. Um, I'm kind of curious what it's going to be like. So I was living in New York City when um, Hurricane Sandy hit back in 2013. I think that was when. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of interested to see how it kind of affects the life here. I do remember one of my friends was stuck on Roosevelt Island for like, I think like a week or something. Um, I'm going to do my skincare now, just getting back into the routine. Um, so I have not unpacked my other skincare yet, so I'm going to just use my, you know, go-tos, I guess. Um, some of them aren't really my go-tos, they're just because I'm trying to use them up. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen all my skincare, so now I'm like kind of excited again. Um, so today for skincare, I'm going to do the Lue by Jean Saw, then the U Beauty, the Illuminating Eye Serum from Beekman, the Plant Base, and then fi finishing it off with Murad. Um, so I am starting a new job on Monday, so I'm trying to do some meal prep just so I don't have to do too much thinking throughout the week because I'm sure I'm going to be overwhelmed with a lot of corporate policies and figuring out my new job, etc. Um, so I'm planning on doing that, plus with the potential of the hurricane wiping out power, I kind of want to have some things prepared that um, will maybe last a while, so they're going to be cooked, but I also have quite a few canned goods available already as well, um, so I'm not too concerned about just having food in general, but it will be nice to have some cooked food just in case. Like my fridge is already like frozen anyway, just on regular setting, but I did make it colder just in case, just because that's what you're supposed to do, I guess, before a storm. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to probably go to bed early. I'm kind of pooped. Um, so something else I forgot to mention is that I think with my hair issue, I think part of it might also be the water. I know that was a major issue with my hair fall in Korea as well. Um, so I am starting to research American shower filters. So if you have a recommendation for a shower water filter or water filter for your shower, let me know. Um, I've been looking at Amazon and honestly they all kind of look the same and some of them look potentially possibly not the best choice. Um, but yeah, just let me know if you have any personal experience with any water filters because um, since I was on vacation, my hair actually didn't fall that much, so I think something environmental is going on. Um, I don't think it's just like no stress or anything like that. I think it's like something else. 
As an update, I was actually successfully able to dry my flowers while I was away, so now I have them hanging up on my door just because I don't know what to do with them. Um, but I had them hanging from my doorknob upside down while I was away, just because then, um, as my sister said, it was able to get air all the way around to dry it out. Um, it was slightly humid in here, so I don't know if that would have taken longer. Um, my guess is it probably did, but I think that they look pretty good for some free dry flowers that were originally not dry. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do with it. So if you have any recommendations on where I should hang it, let me know. Time to grind some coffee. Having a little bit of a snack and it's going to be those nuts again from Costco. I actually think that these are actually pretty good nuts. These are the salted ones but I also bought the unsalted ones but these are like not super duper salty so that was quite nice. This is my home office. It's a little bit cluttered right now just because I have some laundry drying. Um, but my mom popped in when she dropped me off to help me move the desk. It used to be oriented perpendicular to where it is now, but I think that right now it's a lot better with a little bit more space. Um, I have a lot of boxes here because that's a lot of technology stuff that my job sent me, my previous new job and my current new job sent me, so I don't know what to do with the boxes because they did say to keep them in case I need to ship them back. It is time to do my makeup now. So it looks like it's kind of a break in the rain. Um, so that's kind of nice. It's quite sunny outside actually right now. Um, so the hurricane definitely changed its path. So that's great news here. Um, but I do think that I may have passed out before all of the rain came um, because I guess it rained about five inches yesterday and I only saw it rain maybe like two inches. Um, so I guess the biggest rainfall came about 10 to 11 and I think that was like right around the time I went into bed to watch TV to fall asleep. Um, so I guess I missed out. So I'm going to do my makeup now because it is time for me to finally do my boxy charm unboxing. Um, my friend and I were just discussing if we thought that um, All True was going to survive another season. I'm going to have a little bit of a late lunch today just because I was doing some filming for my channel, but um, I'm going to do some of these outside in stuffed gnocchi, so I'm going to put them in the air fryer again. Um, honestly, these got a little bit freezer burned, so I'm going to try to eat them quickly. And then I'm also going to make two of these leftover sticky rice sort of um, pieces in the air fryer as well. So it is super rainy outside, but this was lunch today, and it's honestly like 2.30, um, so I'm very hungry, but this is going to be what I eat, and then hopefully I'll be able to eat some potato chips later, just because I haven't had them in a while. Um, so I'm going to just cut up these potatoes, soak them in some ice water, um, and then I'm going to make my homemade potato chips. Honestly, um, I was craving potato chips, so the homemade ones will at least get these two potatoes out of my life. So I got distracted, now it's time to make my potato chips. Um, so they've been soaking probably for like 40 minutes. So hopefully that will be okay. Time to flip the potatoes. They actually look pretty good and they smell really good. So I am quite excited by this snack, which is probably going to actually be dinner because it's five o'clock right now. I struggled so much getting the stupid package open, it's still not open. I knocked my camera over and then I also knocked it over onto the floor, um, but I think it's working, um, but we shall see if it will continue to be working. Um, so we shall see if this works. This was the first time I actually dropped it and honestly I'm concerned. <laughs> like I'm surprised that it's still working because um, it was recording something and the lens was like fully extended so um, this isn't like um, a fully point and shoot one, it's one that has a removable lens. So yeah, I mean it seems to be working okay. But I'm going to cut up these sausages and then I'm throwing them on the sheet pan as well. So these are all of the sausages cut up, so after my potatoes are done making potato chips, I will um, throw the rest of the everything onto that baking sheet since the oven and the baking sheet are already hot. Update on the potatoes, they are done. Update on the camera. 
the lens makes a weird sound when I zoom in, so maybe I just need to buy a new lens. I don't know if it's worth investing in this camera since it's kind of a lost cause because it's so old. Um, but maybe if I find one at a thrift store, um, just because the housing works does typically have um, lenses there actually. Um, so it's just a matter of finding the right one with the right mount. Um, it is Sony, so it is a little bit more difficult to purchase the lenses because they're not quite as interchangeable with other brands, but... In retrospect, I should have used a bigger cheap cam, but I don't own one, so that would have involved some major planning. So I'll maybe actually only make half the bag of beans just because, um, kind of a lot of beans. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just make half the bag of beans today and I'll keep the rest in another um, reused takeout container just because I don't want to waste the baking food. That is a lot of asparagus and I have a half a pound of green beans and then I have the sausages here. And um, this one looks a little bit rough. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. So it's already cleaned. It just looks a little bit rough so I don't know, maybe I should take it out. I don't want to get food poisoning. I think it's just like blight on the fruit, so I'm going to just remove this bean. Um, but otherwise the rest of them look okay. Um, so I'll just check in with you when it's time to flip the vegetables and the sausage. It is sometime later and now it's time to flip, so let me try to flip these without spilling any. I realized I haven't tried a potato chip yet. This was supposed to be an afternoon snack, but now it's part of dinner. But these look pretty crispy. So it tastes pretty good. I don't know if I would use that seasoning again. I think it needs slightly a little bit more salt. I'm not even quite sure if there is any salt in that Atika or whatever blend. Um, but. I'm not even quite sure if there is any salt in that blend, but I do think it needs a little bit of salt for future reference. Hopefully I'll remember that eventually. As an update, this is the blend, and it in fact has no salt in it, so let me show you. Um, so it has no salt in it, so that is why I still need a little bit of salt. Okay, so this will be the finished product. So this is going to be dinner today, so I have those potatoes, and then I have my beans, sausage, and asparagus, and then I'm also going to have a hard seltzer from Kirkland. Honestly, I waited until the last possible moment for this weekend um, to unpack my toiletries bag and my skincare. Um, so let me just do that with you. I have a few of these that are empties actually that I need to put into my empties video. So I have put everything away, it's about 10.30. Honestly, I was trying to get to bed at like 10 o'clock just to unwind. It's not like I've been wound up all day because I came back from like two weeks of vacation basically with my fun employment followed by my road trip with my parents. Um, and then just basically doing house things yesterday. And today, I just honestly didn't have very much motivation to do much of anything. I had a list of things that I wanted to do, um, but it was just super duper gloomy all day just because of the tropical storm or whatever it is now. I think it's a tropical depression now um, I was reading so um, luckily for me it did not hit my neighborhood too hard. Um, I did read about Brooklyn and Queens and about how they were kind of had a lot of flooding but um, it didn't hit my neighborhood so hard. Um, I was kind of planning on doing a little bit of laundry today just because I wanted to wear some of my favorite shirts for work tomorrow um, but I think maybe tomorrow will be a dress day. Um, just because it's the first day and I think I have some corporate training that I need to do so um, my plan is to wake up somewhat early sign in just because I still don't know if it's an 8 a.m. start or a 9 a.m. start so I'll just sign in at 8 and then I also have to work with IT I did set up my computer and just confirm everything 
so I did check my computer this morning, my work computer, and I was able to get into the computer system, but for some reason my Outlook wasn't able to connect, um, which is like a very vital application for working from home. Um, so I will have to sign in and then have a call with IT to figure out what's going on. Um, I do know that when I called IT last week, he was having some issues with my password. Um, I had originally thought it was because I was supposed to call on Friday, um, but I called on Monday, so I thought maybe that they hadn't entered me in the system, but he had said that they had actually entered me in the system a while ago, so he said that wasn't the issue. But anyway, I have to call and figure out my password situation, um, so that will be priority number one tomorrow. Again, I don't know if I have to start it eight or nine so we'll see I do think I have a lot of like those normal corporate trainings like um, sexual harassment and like bribery trainings um, and things like that but um, yeah I'll have to do those and then I already have my lunch prepared just because I did some meal prep today not as much as I had hoped um, so depending on the weather tomorrow if it's not too humid and not too hot I might do um, the risotto tomorrow night just so I have more food available. Otherwise, I think the sausage and vegetable bake will kind of get me through the next day or so. Um, whenever it's hot and humid, I always feel like I don't eat that much. So, um, I wasn't even super duper hungry. I got hungry, but then I kind of forgot I was hungry. It's super weird. Um, but yeah, that happened a couple of times today. Um, but yeah, I think... I'm going to try to get better at eating more, intuitively, I guess, um, just because I feel like I haven't eaten that much today, <laughs> and I'm a little bit concerned about how little I ate. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that tomorrow, and then I also maybe will do my laundry, but I hate doing laundry on a Monday just because all the nannies um, do the laundry on Mondays um, because they come back from the weekend and then they go and they do the laundry. So. We'll see. It's usually a rush at the laundry room. Um, also, like during a big rainstorm, the least likely place to find me will be in the basement I'm doing laundry. Just because my building is like super old, so um, I did this in the wrong order. I'll just give up. I won't use this today. Um, but yeah, it, it's in the basement, so sometimes it's prone to flooding in just normal conditions of rain, so I didn't really want to risk it today. Cause, um, but yeah, so that is the plan. So I am signing up for today. Sorry that this wasn't super exciting, but this is just like what it's like to get home from um, vacation for the past two weeks. Um, I also just need to call my super because he actually called me a few days ago trying to get into my apartment to fix my bathroom I think he was confused because he said he was like returning my call and I haven't called him so I think he was confused about apartment numbers um but I will have to follow up with him because actually my toilet's been broken for like probably a year they've kind of fixed it a couple of times but it still kind of constantly runs every three and a half minutes to three and three quarters minutes um, so that's kind of annoying, but I kind of got used to it, but if they can fix it, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, that is everything, and I'm signing out, and I will check in with you tomorrow for my first day of work, and that will be the beginning of my week in my life as a new job. So thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.